Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. So, ladies and gents, TGIF, uh, we got one NBA game, Western Conference Finals Game 2, Mavericks at the Timberwolves. Uh, this game opened up at 3.5, plus 3.5 for the Mavs. It's uh, up to plus 5.5 across all books right now. Uh, Timberwolves minus 3.5 as the favorite. They're at home, like I said. Um, a little bit of line moving, nothing crazy. Uh, it's kind of a pick em, you know. Mavericks could improve as well, even though they won last game. They didn't shoot that well from three and a couple other things. They could improve. Um, Timberwolves were gassed. They were, you know, they're trying to say they were tired. They all said they were tired, but uh, that's no excuse. They only had one game more rest than uh, the Mavs. You know, young boy Edwards, great player and all, but he messed up by calling out Kyrie. And uh, I'm a fool because I played Kyrie like we've been playing him, under first quarter, over first quarter assists, and then uh, Luca over his points. And... Uh, Kyrie took that that calling out to heart, which he should have, and I I seen Edwards do it, and uh, I forgot about it. I should have. I'm, I'm a fool for that. And then uh, it was right in the beginning. They double teamed Kyrie. He got mad. I seen it. Like they, they almost took the ball, and then uh, he turned it up and went to overdrive and killed them. And then Luca hooked. But uh, yeah, so I read it wrong. But, uh, you know, we all make mistakes. Uh, they got the over on there at 208 and a half. I think the, the first game was like 213, 214, something like that. Uh, both teams definitely could shoot better. So you can definitely look out. I mean, they both play defense as well, so it's a little tough. But uh, kind of leading towards the over. And uh, Mavericks has the dogs. You got the Wolves at home, so obviously that helps. But uh, and Wolves should play better. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good game, good game. So yesterday, boy, we killed it. When uh, 7 and 1, the one loss we hooked, but uh, dropped, I dropped off. Uh, Two lot, three live plays. Uh, one of them was a three point for Holiday. It was just a little sprinkle, nothing crazy that he would hit four threes. He already had two shooting perfect from the field, and uh, he didn't play much in the fourth. I think he did actually. I don't know what happened, but uh, he ended up with three. So that was, it is what it was. But then uh, I played Shepard over two and a half points. They lowered it. He ended up with like seven. He always goes over two and a half. Gets like four. Anything below four, you play that. Um, and then what else happened? Oh, the hockey game went to OT, right? So Edmonton versus Dallas. And then uh, I played Connor McDavid to have the game winning goal. And then I also played Robinson on the on, on Dallas to have the game winning goal. I ain't been on crazy. They were all. One was like plus nine fifty, the other one was like plus a thousand. I bet five dollars. Like, you know, win or lose who cares. Bam. Right off the rip, the opening face off. Uh McDavid high sticks someone, splits their lip, gets a double minor, that's four minutes. So he's in the box. Uh Dallas on the power play. What's his name? Uh clinks the post a couple times. Uh Robinson. Then Dallas don't score. Uh, game ends up going in the second OT, like 30 seconds in. McDavid comes out and poop, scores. Bam, five. Five dollar bill turned into a 50. Yeah, so we went nine and three all together. 
good day. Actually, that's a great day. Uh, yeah, so let's let's keep that keep that moving in today. Uh, like I said, my little leans are to the over. I don't really have a side. It's gonna be just be a good game, but let's get into these player props. Make some money to name game, paper the game. All right, we're going to start off with Jaden McDaniels, first quarter points over two and a half. Uh, last five games, 100% hit rate. Tw last 20 games, 65% hit rate. Head to head, 63 for the year. He's almost at 60%. This first game, he had nine points. He's been pretty hot lately. Uh, he's averaging nine and a half first quarter minutes. Although he did only play seven and a half minutes and uh, he had nine points last game. So, I mean, he may not have nine points, but I'm expecting him to have over two and a half. Uh, goes into my next play. I normally uh, would play him blocks and steals, which he didn't hit it last game. So he's possibly, he's, he's probably going to hit it this game, but I didn't go that route. What I ended up doing is playing his points, except I didn't play his regular point line. They got, I think, 13 and a half or 10 and a half, 12 and a half. I bumped it up to 15 and a half. And uh, at plus 225. Now, yeah, of course, he's got the possibility to go under this. He was going under this 10 games ago, but he's showing crazy, uh, crazy progression. Last three games, 21, 23, 24, he turned it up. Uh, I seen him in his press conference. He's, you know, he's a humble guy. He's practicing his game and everything else. You know, he's a shooter. Whether he's missing or hitting, he's going to shoot it. So, uh, he had 24. He's had over 20 points the last three games. So, at 15 and a half for plus 225, I'm going to give it a shot. Hopefully, I found a little jewel. Uh, I'm betting on crazy. You know, I always say this. My unit size is not that big. But, uh, so... A little something, you know, if I could turn turn a 20 into a 60, excuse me, sorry, uh, I'll do that all day. Yeah, so we got first quarter points over two and a half, and then I bumped up or I outlined this points line to 15 and a half at plus 225. Now, you can keep it regular. I mean, obviously, it'd be better odds, but uh, I'm trying a little something, a little something. All right, for this next play, we're going six man of the year, Nas Reed, points over 10 and a half, uh, plus 102 right now on, on FanDuel. You know, you already know what I'm going to say, right? Line chop. Uh, last game, 15, game before 11. You know, he's pretty close to this line. Uh well, just like I said last game, um, Towns, Carl Anthony Towns, Cat, as they call him, gets in a little foul trouble and whatnot. And, uh, I mean, regardless, he's going to get 21, 20, he's averaging 21 minutes. He's going to get his minutes. He's not six man of the year for nothing. You know, he's shooting almost 50% from the field, 40% from three. He's a big man that can shoot them threes. Uh, 70% from the stripe. That's the foul line. Head to head, he's gone over this a little over 60%. All, right, all those things are hit rate of 60%. Last five, last 20 for the year. Head to head. So, uh, yeah, I mean, and they lost. So, they're going to be trying to win. They're going to be a little more aggressive. Uh yeah, he's six man of the year. Like I said, he's not that for nothing. He's going to come out and he's going to get over 10 and a half points. Uh, 
you know, I was going to do his points and rebounds, but then I'm like, what if he doesn't hit him? I feel like he should go over his points anyway, but you could do that to give a little, maybe a little better chance, but you might not get a better chance. I don't know. I don't know. I figured he's going to get his points, so let's play his points. All right, Nas Reed over 10 and a half points. Excuse me. This is uh my first time playing Kyle. Kyle Anderson. We're going points over four and a half. Uh, I did get a him. Right now, they only show him on prize picks. I got him on FanDuel last night. I'm sure he'll be around. You just got to check the books. So. First game, he scored 11 points. You know, normally he doesn't score that much. But, uh... He's been shooting 44% from the field, only averaging three attempts. Uh, his threes are trash, 25%. He did hit a three last game. Uh, it's just 90% almost from the stripe, so that's good. But in the pregame, I forget who it was. They said uh, one of the analytics guys or whatever said they're going to need a big game out of him and you know, he's just another body that helps bring size, even though he's, I mean, he doesn't, he's got a high basketball IQ, I'll tell you that. You ever see him shoot his three? It's like this. It's like Joker, but really slow. It's like three seconds it takes him to go into full motion. It's crazy. But uh, head to head, he's done really well versus Dallas. Last six games, he's gone over this five times. So I guess they need him to play Dallas. And, uh, and he's been playing well. He normally gets his minutes anyway. Not that many. Let's check that out. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, 20 minutes a game he's been averaging playing them. So should go over this if he continues, you know, the law of averages. So we should be all right. I'm not saying he's going to have 11 again, but... Uh, Hopefully a couple of baskets, maybe uh, a couple of foul shots, free throws. All right, Kyle Anderson over four and a half points, FanDuel. All right, I'd like to take this time and ask you to like the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my new viewers. Uh, turn them notifications on. I drop a lot of live plays. This way, you get them instantly. You need to get them instantly. The lines change, line movement, everything. Plus, you get my plays, my my videos, um, the live bets I drop in the community, and uh, been doing pretty well with them. Hit a plus nine hundred yesterday. You know, that was an overtime goal, but uh, that's not normal. But I'm able to dissect the books pretty good. You find little loopholes and whatnot during live plays, and uh, so they're updating them while the game's going on and sometimes they you know you can catch up you catch that real easy but uh yeah and leave a comment if you could i've noticed a couple people have been commenting more a little more i appreciate you thank you uh let me know what team you got you know we killed it yesterday let me know if you made some money uh anything how i'm doing if you think i should change something or just anything comments and the likes help get the videos out there so more people get to see them, which will lead to more subscribers, help us help more people. It's us for us to books, but it's not only that. I like to, uh, like I said, I'm not a professional better. I'm an amateur better. I've been doing this for a couple of years and uh, I make money doing it. I, 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 when I win, like yesterday, I withdrew money. I don't leave it in there this way because otherwise you rebet it and you rebet it and you end up losing it. So I pulled some out, I did my average, you know, I bet my average thing, keep my unit size the same. You know, eventually I would like to upsize my unit size. I'm only betting $40 to play, but uh, I place a lot of bets as you guys see. So it still ends up being like a little over 200 a day, if that, then plus the live bets. But uh, it's just a strategy that works for me. I handicapped the, the game. I, you know, I correlate, correlate plays with plays, and it's just what I do. Yeah, so for my viewers, my people who are subscribed and new viewers, I appreciate y'all for real. Been doing this for a little over a month, uh, a little, little over 100 subscribers. 
We need to get to that 500 mark. When we do, I'm going to have a $100 giveaway. Uh, you know what I mean? Let me help you. You help me. One hand washes the other. Both hands wash the face. All right, so we got Gafford. Getting to these uh, Dallas, Dallas players. We got Gafford over one and a half first quarter rebounds. I played him on DraftKings. Minus 122. He's been going over this. Like crazy. Local La Cabeza. Last five, 100% hit rate. Last 20, 60% hit rate. Had the head, 100% hit rate. For the year, 60% hit rate. Why would you not play this? Why have I not played this? I don't know. I just realized it. But, uh, you know, he's splitting the time real good between Lively. Lively and Gafford. They're both getting out there and they're coming and putting mad energy in. Uh, you know, he's a good player. They're active. I like I, I like players that that take people or anybody for that matter who take pride in their work. And a lot of these players that I take take pride in their work. They try and everything else. They ain't sitting there. You know what I mean? Like, and it's just real life. People who take pride in their work, you can, you can fuck with. Uh, I put my money on them because I know they're gonna try. Um, yeah, so over one and a half first quarter rebounds. Now, I went something a little different this time. I took his points and rebounds. I normally play his points. I buy it back to seven and a half. Maybe I should have did that. We'll find out tonight, right? Uh, points and rebounds. Over 14 and a half. Plus 102. Come on. Vandal. A little line shot. They got a minus 102 on DraftKings, so get some positive EV. You know what I mean? But yeah, check this out. He's gone over this. What's that? 7 out of 10? 9 rebounds last game. So I think they got his rebound line at like 7, 6. But yeah, and his, he had 10 points. So I figure 14 and a half, he's going to get his 10 points. Maybe nine. He'll go under his points line, but he's going to, I figure, he'll make up for it in the rebounds if he does go under it. Because sometimes what would be happening is what had happened was Lively is doing a little better, so they might keep him in longer. But all in all, they, they both play well. And uh, Lively fell off for a couple games last thing, but then Gafford also got hurt. He went to block a shot, he hurt his wrist, and then from his wrist, he was he fell, and they always fall on the floor. It's crazy how much basketball players fall on the floor, by the way. But uh, I guess because his wrist was hurt, instead of trying to brace himself, he fell on his shoulder, and then he hurt his shoulder, and it was like a, a snowball, a spiral effect. But uh, he's back in action. He'd go over this. Let's get him. Uh, yeah, I didn't like what I seen down there, so I'm gonna just block it. Fifty-eight percent field goals, uh, sixty-two from the stripe, averages seven total rebounds. He's having fourteen and a half rebound chances. Last game was sixteen. That was the first game, but uh, normally you like to split that in half, so that'd be eight rebounds. He really got nine, so yeah, points and rebounds. Hopefully, I didn't make a mistake and he goes over it. If not, just play his points. Buy him back if you want. Like I, like I said last game, uh, I'm trying to switch it up a little just in case he goes on to his points. Cheer. The video is getting crazy long. Uh, I'm going to rush into these. Lively over 15 and a half points and rebounds. All the same reasons on why I played Gafford. Uh, he's been going over this. He had 20 last game. Um, you could probably get it at 14 and a half. I made that mistake with Gafford. I had it at, I got it at 14 and a half. And I should have played it at 13 and a half and minus 130. So do the same thing with this one. Buy it back, it's probably at like minus 130 for a 14 and a half. Do that instead. Increases your odds. So, yeah, we got lively points and rebounds. 
I played 15 and a half, get him at 14 and a half or 13 and a half, buy it back. Head to head, he's gone over this the last three times they played. Last game he had five. Time before that, eight and five. Uh, last 20, 60% hit rate for the year, almost 70% hit rate. So, yeah, he should go over this. Uh, I also played him for his block. His block, I say, over a half a block, meaning he needs one block. We've been cashing it. Head to head, he's been doing real well with this. Uh, had one last game, two of the last time they played, one the time before that. They bring it in shoot motion, he swipes at it, they consider it a block. Uh, sorry for rushing through these last two. The video is so long, the data is uh, it's not letting me record. But uh, Ace Money, the name, getting paid for the game.